teasers, I think, at that point. Um, but uh, yeah, and on the game side, it's so, uh, so yeah, the, the, this is where it gets a little funky because you get you buy the hundred dollar thing, you could play the games with that little remote, which looks like a, uh, just a little bigger than an Apple TV remote. Uh, but you can also pay another forty dollars and actually get a game pad. Uh, so I don't know entirely who that's for. Um, and it's not like it's going to compete really with an Xbox or anything like that. But really, when you look at this, for something that's like a casual gamer kind of thing, uh, and it's connected to something people know, like Amazon, and maybe this Android TV, which apparently looks a lot like this uh, in form and function that we'll probably hear about very, very soon, uh, and you add on the games on that, I feel like that just kills the Nintendo Wii. Oh, that, that, that could be. And, and sorry, I, it, that's intended for someone like me who does not have uh, a, a game, any kind of gaming system at home. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, it, whatever I play, I, it's what I'm, it was limited to what's on my phone. Um, and, and that was what I, I read about this last week because uh, Amazon was nice enough to, to have this announcement before my, my deadline for the column. Um, that, that was one of the, the really intriguing things about this for me. Um, because it sort of opens up this this potential, uh, you know. I, I, I have I, I have a Roku box at home, but you know, if you add this, um, and suddenly there's this potential to open up this whole other world that that I haven't really played with much. Um, and I and I know I'm not the only person, uh, that, you know, sort of in this position. Um, a, a ninety-nine dollar box isn't that out of line. Uh, I, I think that's what Apple TV is. I think you know mm -hmm. the, the, the Roku box might be a little bit less expensive, but it's the same ballpark. Um, but not that much additional money uh, to buy a controller and sort of open up this whole other world. Um, that that so that was that was one of the things that was really intriguking about this announcement for me. Mm -hmm. And even well, looking at the trailer, like these games look like good games you know they're yeah, not yeah. halo they're not titanfall but i think for the uninitiated like you uh like i think they just showed asphalt 8 i'm playing that on my phone and i'm just like amazed by what these graphics look like on these devices and this is a very capable box this is a quad core you know processor device mm -hmm. um that it's going to you know that, that they're going to get it get this on uh, man they, they could kill it as far as that goes and then and then you're going to get this point not just fire tv you're going to have your android tv you're going to have roku already has a little bit of of of, of gaming on it you know mm -hmm. we're seeing the 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 start of some stuff on chromecast even uh you know lower end not anything like this more party games with the like cards against humanity stuff but this this could eat this this like eats out the bottom of uh the game industry from Xbox, well, yeah. and and I look at it as too. I mean, you think of you think of parents trying to, to figure out what to buy their kids. I mean, you, you start off with a with a Kindle Fire. They start <laughs> off at one hundred and thirty nine bucks for the mm -hmm. Fire HD, all the way up to three seventy nine for the the Fire HD X eight point nine. Um, you think about it. Okay, so you go with the baseline HD. You're at, you're at one hundred and forty. You, you pick up the Fire TV. You're now at uh, but one, two forty. Throw in a controller. You're at two eighty. You now have your kids reading, looking at media. They have a, a a tablet that's running Android and a subset of the Android market. And you have this media console you have at home. I mean, when you compare that to something like a Wii or an Xbox One or a PlayStation Four, uh, coming in at at, at four to five hundred dollars. I mean, uh, to me, it's a no brainer. Not to mention your games are probably what four four dollars and ninety nine cents yeah. versus mm -hmm. a, yeah. sixty bucks? Uh, John, I think John, that's, is, that, I think that's, that's I a think great Parents point. are going to go crazy exactly over what, this. Um, I, I'm, 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 I talk about when this is um, it, it, it is good for me. It, it is good for the families that you talk about. Um, there are an awful lot of people whose only kind of entries into into this uh, into the mobile world. Is, is through uh, their Kindle Fire, and this is a, mm -hmm. so they're, they're going to be familiar with this stuff to begin with. Um, and and I, as, I, as I said in the comment I wrote last week, I mean, the Amazon's going to sell these by the boatload. Uh, and, um, and on top of that, you talk about the parent side of things. They're also providing a service with us called Amazon Free Time, which is like a three dollar a month service where it's just stuff that's good for kids. Holy crap! Oh, it's God. like it's like <laughs> their own uh, just for kids for Netflix. They yeah. just freaking owned it there's like here this is your box i don't have to worry about what you watch on there you're not getting commercials so i'm not you're not going to be bugging me to 
by the crap in the toilet aisle at Walmart. Um, and I know you won't click off, you know, like if you have the fire and you're on YouTube, uh, you know, you could go anywhere on YouTube. That's a scary proposition. You know, mm-hmm. I have, yeah. I've seen some friends with their kids and they're like, oh yeah, you just watch this stuff on YouTube. I'm like, what if he clicks something else? Dora Snuff Films is all you need Dora to know. Dora Snuff Films. <laughs> That's all you need to know about the dangers of YouTube. How to, how to train the girl with the dragon tattoo. Mm-hmm. I think it's like an At Midnight episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> yeah, there, you know, people complain about like the, the um, you know, having these ecosystems with like, you know, the iPhone and everything. Um, but Amazon created their own ecosystem over here. So now I think it's at a point where a lot of people, they're buying everything on Amazon. They're buying all their media on Amazon. They have their, they already have their Kindle, Kindles and Kindles fires. And they're just like, oh, it's a safe place. And you know, that's, that. that's, that's, that's it. This is the, the, to, to a lot of people, this Amazon and, and that entire bit of architecture is what they're familiar with. Um, and, and from what it sounds like, uh, the Fire TV box is going to be just, just an extension of that. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're familiar with something and, and you're comfortable and you know it's safe, especially if you've got kids in the house watching the TV, um, that's that's where you're going to look. And I, it's if you look at it, um, both my mom and Ginger's mom both have a, a Kindle Fires. So this is what they're comfortable with and this is what they're all and their friends have and they're using. So we're all comfortable using the system. And the other thing is, is now we're all family friendly and looking for parents because Chilla has a baby. This is what's good for parents. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and I, I look at it as, I mean, we're going to we'll continue to follow the hand-me-down, so he'll be yeah. getting third gen or whatever current gen is minus three or minus two, but <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just saves money. That's the way I look at it. I, I just you, love it. It's awesome. The devices, but 